Welcome to the AIM Learn Fast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This module is creating a new track in AIM Sports GPS Manager version 2.0 software. Just a couple of benefits of using a GPS sensor with your AIM Sports data system is the ability to use the GPS information to generate highly accurate track maps and lap times. To make the use of this sensor even easier, AIM Sports has created the GPS Manager software. The GPS Manager software has over 250 worldwide tracks already included in its database, and we are adding more all of the time. However, you may want to visit a track that is not yet included in the database. The good news is that the GPS Manager software allows you to add tracks to the database very easily. There are a couple of ways to get the information you need to create a new track in the GPS Manager software. The first is to use the Google Earth program available free on the internet and get the latitude and longitude values of the start finish line in the decimal degrees format. The other way is to actually make a few laps around the track with your AIM Sports data system, download the data as you normally would in Race Studio 2, and then from the GPS Manager software, create a new track using your downloaded data. In this training video, we are going to create a track with the information from both Race Studio 2 and Google Earth and assumes you have both. To begin the process of creating a new track in the GPS Manager database, first open the software. This is what the software looks like when you first open it. If you need a few tips in how to use all of the features of the software, or just want to learn how to maneuver around, take a look at the GPS Manager 2.0 Overview Module. If you are interested in learning how to transmit or receive tracks with your AIM Sports data system, take a look at GPS Manager 2.0 Transmitting and Receiving Tracks Module. To create a new track, simply click on the New button to start the process. This will open this Track Information and Properties window. The first thing we need to do is type in the name that you want to call your new track. In this case, we will call the new track Grass Valley and type it into the Track Input box. Another important part of saving a track is to add more information that will help you sort or filter the tracks in your database. The remaining pieces of information required are the nation the track is located, the track type, and the surface type. Let's start by selecting the nation. To open the pull-down list of available nations, click on the Open button. This fully populated list will open and in our case select the United States value by clicking on it. The next setting is the track type. To open the pull-down list of available track types, click on the Open button. This list will open and the choices are Closed, Oval, or Point to Point. For this track, we will select Closed because the start and finish point for each lap is at the same location. Then we need to set the track surface type. To open the pull-down list of available track surfaces, click on the Open button. This list will open and the choices are Asphalt, Dirt, Ice, Mixed, and Water. For this track, we will select Asphalt. The next choice we can make is what types of vehicles compete on the track. Again, this is just another way to filter your stored tracks later. As you can see here, the automotive and bike icons are black so they are active. The cart icon is grayed out so it is currently not active. To make the cart icon active, just click on it one time. Now we have all of the information we need input into this dialog box. If you know the coordinates for the start finish line from Google Earth or another method, you could input the coordinates right into the highlighted area now, but we are going to revisit this later in this video. If you have AIM Sports GPS data from laps already ran on the track, we can load the track shape information right here in this dialog box. It can also be done later if you want to edit the track. In this case, we already have this data. To start the process of loading the track data, we just need to click on the Load Shape button. After pressing the Load Shape button, this window opens and allows you to browse to the Track Shape file. These may have a GPK or KMB extension, with the most common being the GPK file that is generated with each test you run with an AIM Sports GPS sensor connected to your data system. This GPK file will be in the location where you stored the test when you originally downloaded the files with Ray Studio 2. In most cases, the files are stored in the default location of C, AIM Sport, Race Studio 2, Data. So we just need to navigate to the data folder. 
we will start by clicking on the Up One Level button. And then click on it again. And this gets us to the Aim Sport folder. Then we need to double click on the Race Studio 2 folder. Then double click on the Data folder. To find the Grass Valley GPK file in this folder, we need to scroll down and find it. As you can see here, we have sorted the folder by the name of the file, so we just need to scroll down and look for it. Here is the Grass Valley GPK file we are looking for. We just need to click on it and then click on the Open button. Now, this dialog box has all the information needed to create the new Grass Valley track. However, we want to create or change the start-finish line coordinates. To establish coordinates for the track, you simply just click on the track map where you want the start-finish line. When you are happy with where you have clicked, click on the Cursor Position button to update the latitude and longitude values. Great! Now in this case, the orientation of the track map looks good. But if you are interested in rotating the track map, you have the Rotate Map Left and Right buttons. Let's click on the Rotate Map Left button a few times. We can continue to rotate it as much as we want, but in this case I like the original orientation the track map had with north being straight up. To quickly get back there, click on the True North button. You can also zoom in and out on the track map to help with selecting the start finish line or track splits. To zoom in, click on the Zoom button. To return back out, you can click on the Zoom Out button, or in this case, we are going to jump back to the original view by clicking on the Best Fit button. Great! To finish the storing of the track, click on the OK button. The track is now stored and ready to send to your AIM Sports data system. But maybe you have some new coordinates that you would like to update the start finish line. Sometimes you may not have the AIM Sports GPS data and only have a coordinate from a source like Google Earth. Let's show you how you can use those values. To open the track, select the Grass Valley checkbox. Then to open the Edit Track function, click on the icon. This will open the familiar Track Information and Properties window. Here are the actual start finish line coordinates for the Grass Valley track from Google Earth. The latitude and longitude fields are editable, so to start the edit, select the LAT input box. In this case, I click the input box at the end of the value because we only need to change the last three digits of the value. So I will use the backspace key to remove the digits, then replace the final three digits with new values. Next, we do the same thing with the longitude value by selecting the lawn input box. When you input the coordinates and are sure that the rest of the values in the track information and properties are correct, click on the OK button to store the track in the database. And that completes creating a new track with good start finish line coordinates using the GPS Manager 2.0 software. If you need a few tips on how to use all of the features of the software, or just want to learn how to maneuver around a little bit better, take a look at the GPS Manager 2.0 overview video. If you are interested in learning how to transmit or receive tracks with your AIM Sports data system, take a look at the GPS Manager 2.0 transmitting receiving tracks video for more aim sports learn fast e-training content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support your source for support and training of aim sports products when and where you want it